Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today is the launch of Season 3 Reloaded here within Modern Warfare 2. This was a highly anticipated update, not so much because it's going to be groundbreaking by any stretch of the imagination, but rather it's just going to be some new content for Modern Warfare 2 fans to enjoy while we anxiously await the leaks and rumors and the eventual reveal as well as the beta for Call of Duty 2023. We all know how the COD cycle works. We're kind of at that point right now where Modern Warfare 2 has been out for over half a year. The game itself was met with a lot of criticism at launch and then slowly but surely they started to add more content to the game, but by the time enough content came to the game, most of the player bases kind of checked out, myself included, I'm not gonna lie, like after I got Orion Cambo, my playtime in this game just fell right off a cliff because I felt like there wasn't really anything to work for, although we do have a couple of new things here with Season 3 Reloaded, which would definitely get me playing the game, at least in the short term, but I don't see myself continuing to play long term, because again, there's just not that much going on here. So with Season 3 Reloaded, there is a brand new map in the form of the Alboran Hatchery, this map was inspired directly from the single player campaign, which I will say Modern Warfare 2's campaign was pretty good. I do remember this mission pretty vividly, and the map itself is serviceable. I, it's so hard to tell right away. I mean, early on, you can tell if a map is going to be terrible, similar to the uh, Gold Rush map, I think it was called, that we got with Season 3, which was all night vision with the lasers and the night vision goggles. That was a stupid concept to begin with. Like, we knew going in how bad that map was going to be. This map is much more traditional. It just kind of feels like a normal Infinity Ward map. There's not too many doors there's not too many lines of sight it's kind of a kind of a return to form honestly it feels like an average map and it's really difficult to kind of judge whether or not it's going to be incredible when it just came out a couple of hours ago but so far after my limited experience in the map it seems fine uh, it's not the prettiest map in the world it's very depressing actually to look at if you just look at like the color palette of grays and that's about it, just grays, <laughs> pretty much, with a little bit of green now and then. It uh, definitely has the Infinity Ward Syndrome, where they're just against their maps being colorful and vibrant. That's definitely much more of a Treyarch and maybe to a lesser extent Sledgehammer thing. But yeah, one brand new multiplayer map for fans to enjoy. We have Gunfight Face-Off. So what they did is they took the Gunfight maps, of which I believe there are four in the game, including Shipment, so count that three. But we have 3v3 Face-Off now with respawns. It is a little bit annoying that you have like this respawn timer, where they still have the bug in the game where if you play search and destroy or any game mode where you have to spectate your teammates it takes forever and it's broken so they give you a black screen instead of just letting you actually see what your teammate is doing so that part got a little bit annoying but it's more content i suppose because now you can play 3v3 with like team deathmatch and kill confirmed on the gunfight maps themselves so that will definitely feel like a new experience for some players it's a place you can go besides shipment to maybe level up your guns a little bit faster definitely a lot more engagements on these maps as compared to the larger ones it's serviceable it's, it's nothing crazy we've seen face off before hell the original face off was back in modern warfare 3 and that game came out like over a decade ago so it's nothing new it's nothing insane but it is more content for fans to enjoy which i think is just basically going to be the the standard that's going to be the status quo going forward for modern warfare 2 as we get closer to cod 2023 most of these updates are just kind of going to be there to give fans something to do while we wait for cod 2023 essentially so you can play 3v3 on the gunfight maps ground war infected i think this is actually pretty interesting we've seen this before in the COD franchise of course which is probably one of the most annoying aspects of these updates they're just giving us the same stuff that we've had before but they're spacing it out over the course of an entire year as compared to having the stuff that we've had before at launch and then throughout the year adding in new content but regardless ground war infected is pretty fun I mean it's infected on giant ground war maps I mean it's kind of enjoyable to play it from that perspective right you try to hold out on the building with your friends or with random people online see how long you can survive although a lot of the time the infected are still going to end up winning now in terms of progression you guys know i'm all about progression in the cod franchise and video games in general there is a new camo event and the challenges look incredibly simple i might just do a live stream where i just knock out all these challenges in a couple of hours because you jump on shipment you'll get all these done ridiculously quickly in fact i went through and i did one match of shipment i knocked out the 50 pistol kills just to get a kind of a vibe as to what the default camo is going to look like and here it's going to be it's nothing insane it's nothing crazy but this is going to be the camo you get for doing one weapon category challenges and then similar to the ronin camo challenge event if you do every single weapon category challenge you'll then unlock a new mastery camo and unfortunately because the update just came out the mastery camo i can't find anything about it online to see what it actually looks like but hopefully it's going to be animated because it looks like today with the new update they finally changed the bowing blossoms camo from the first camo challenge event to actually make it animated before it just looked like 
with this static Arizona tea can camo. Well, now it's an Arizona tea can camo with moving flowers. And it actually does look pretty good. Like, I, I, memes aside, like, that actually does look pretty good, in my opinion. I don't know why it wasn't like that at launch. Like, why do they have fans working towards this reward and then give them a terrible reward and then, like, a month later actually make the reward good? Why wasn't it there at launch? Why don't they ever launch with things being how they should? And I, I don't get it, man. I really don't. But it does look pretty damn good. And I'm hoping that the mastery camo that we get here with season three reloaded is also going to be pretty good. And after I put a video on Twitter today showing what the new Bowing Blossoms camo looks like, people are wondering, well, wow, that looks pretty good. Can I still earn that? Well, nope. The event is over. <laughs> so, no, you cannot earn it anymore. And I imagine the same is going to be true with the new challenges that are currently available and the new camos that are currently available. Finally, we have a new Spec Ops raid. I will be doing a full review of the raid once I complete it. But so far, I mean, the first two raids were incredible. I mean, that, that that's like the best thing Modern Warfare 2 done, in my opinion. Like, the multiplayer is fine. I mean, they've done a couple of cool things with the multiplayer, of course, if I were to break down every single little aspect of the game, I'd be talking forever. But in terms of, like, actual, like, new things within the COD series, Spec Op raids are fantastic. They are so good. I'm a bit biased because I play them with my friends. Maybe if you don't have people to play with, you might not enjoy it as much. But, like, the PvE co-op challenges and stuff like that, it's, it's so much better than the traditional Spec Ops that Infinity Ward is known for. The raids are incredible, and that should definitely be a staple of their studio going forward, at least in my own personal opinion. I haven't played the third one yet, but I imagine it's going to be as good as the first two. But there you guys have it. I mean, season three reloaded. It's out. It's uh, yeah, put it right there in the title, man. It's it's something. <laughs> it's it's not going to knock your socks off, man. It's just it's new content for Modern Warfare 2. And if you're still playing the game or if you're still looking to grind the game, you have a new map to do it on. You can play 3v3 face off. Ground War Infected is there just to have something new to try out and new to experience. And you have new camo challenges. Although, once again, if you just jump into shipment, you'll probably knock out those challenges pretty damn quick. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this little update video here today. The new update is out. And as always, I'll keep you guys posted as we learn more about the upcoming events of Season 4, as well as any news regarding Call of Duty 2023. But for right now, that's all I have for you here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.